Hi, it's Alana Corso, Managing Broker, Co-Founding Partner of Dwell Realtors. This week, I'm talking about off-market sales. You might be asking, what is an off-market sale? And simply put, it's basically when a seller and their real estate agent decide not to enter the home sale into the public MLS or multiple listing service um, for dissemination and distribution to the public and it's sold, the house is sold privately instead. Why might someone consider doing an off-market sale? And there's several reasons and different and several considerations that a seller and their real estate agent have to make, and it's important to weigh those pros and cons. But I would say that the primary reason we see off-market sales and where I've helped my own sellers navigate an off-market sale is for privacy and ease. So what if there's a situation where um, there's a divorce or maybe you've hit some financial hard times or quite the opposite, maybe you've, you've had a financial windfall and you don't want the whole world to know that you're selling your home. And so a private sale might be the, the best option for you. Um, the other reason for ease is um, it kind of comes down to this in our real estate market. About 20% of the local real estate agents do about 80% of the business. So do you really need the MLS to distribute and show um, your house when maybe with targeted niche marketing, word of mouth, um, networking groups, or access to groups such as Top Agent Network, which caters, you have to actually be a um, approved for membership in and show that you're in the top 10% of your local real estate market for production to be a member. And so if, if those people who are doing the most work and sales in, in your area can bring qualified buyers to your house and help you have a concentrated showing period and get the price and terms you desire, why not when you're not having to host um, open houses with, you know, could be, you know, 100 people coming through your home and uh, looky lose or the people that are actually never going to buy a house but are just looking for remodeling ideas, which actually happens in open houses. But as people know, when they're getting their home ready to sell, uh, showings can be challenging, especially around your work schedules or in your children. Maybe you have little ones that need to take naps or you have several pets and it's hard to, you know, to take them out of the house for showings. Those are all reasons why people can say, hey, if I only had to do, you know, a few showings to a co concentrated group of qualified buyers, why not if I can get the price and terms that I desire? So one of the benefits for buyers in looking at off-market listings is typically our inventory is rather low here on the peninsula and you want the most exposure to as many houses as possible and that includes the houses on the MLS but also those private pocket listings as well because you want to see everything. Um, one of the things that I can help my buyers with with off-market sales is when I really know what they're, when we've drilled down what they're looking for and their price range, um, and I'm alerted to um, you know a variety of different off-market listings at different times, I can tell you and we can get you in to see it and you're not having to deal and compete with the masses of other people that might be trying to get to that house. So it can help you get into a house with um, a lot easier than maybe something that's on the market. At the end of the day, it really comes down to um, having a big discussion on what works best for your personal situation when you're considering listing your home and that if a off-market sale is right for you or not. And then also as a buyer is considering, you know, is your agent giving you access to off-market homes because it is a large component of our local mid-peninsula real estate market. So if you need help navigating whether an off-market sale is right for you, or if you're working with an agent that's not showing you any off-market listings, reach out to me anytime. I'm happy to have a conversation with you, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks so much. Oh,